So, this will be my first cast in the new site on YouTube. <laughs> it is a uh, CVZ between Dimaga and Stefano. Both very, very good players. And I think this was from the Gigabyte Cup for about a week ago. Or something like that. Anyway, the map is MLG Shadow Temple. You can see that by. Yeah, of course, they are close in close air positions. And. Wait, just. One tower in the middle, I don't know. Really. It is. It has uh, these rocks as well. Not like the original Shadow Temple. Where uh, there was an island here, I think it was. Yeah. Anyway, we see Stefano is saving up for a level pool. <coughs> and the Maga. We'll see this, of course, with this overlord because of the close air positions. You can <coughs> set your overlord over the guys. Minerals and hatchery in the beginning because there will be no anti air for quite a while until the queen has come out. Then you gotta have a poop, of course. Okay. Gas is done for Stefano. We'll be getting three guys on gas. And the pool will come out slightly before the pool of Demaga. Demaga is. Yeah, probably the best Zerg. One of the best Zergs, I would say. Nurture is pretty good as well. Stefano kills. Anyway, we see the old lord positioning around the map because you can maybe place him wherever you want to because the queens are so slow of creep. So you would not want to risk them to go like here to pick up an old lord. It would be just stupid. Metabolic boost is going down for both players now. The 11 pool for Stefano didn't do as many as. didn't do anything at all, actually. I guess he just wanted his queen out earlier. For like 50 seconds. He's starting to shoot off. Oh, here we see. The mag is. kind of sloppy to leave his overlord here. Because the queen will get a lot of free hits from it. Anyway, it will go back to do some injects to get some more larva out. Stefano had uh, a little fight with his links somewhere around the map. I don't really care because it, it doesn't matter in the early game so much. As long as it's not losing his links. Baneling Ness is going down for the Maga slightly earlier than the uh, Baneling Ness for Stefano. We will probably see. Mass links and baneling micro against one another, against <laughs> each other. Oh lord, it's going down and it's a little bit supply blocked over a while. Don't think it really. Do we see some banelings warping, warping, <laughs> morphing? In. This, this is defensive banelings. I would call them. That is kind of sloppy as well to leave some banes you can attack them with some circles to get some free hits on the banes. We see a spine crawler going down as well, like a hatchery, just to be safe against uh, any banes that will come out to your base and you will get around two hits to a banes or something. We see the banes doing. Oh! Holy crap! Kind of stupid. Now cutting around with the lanes and the magas bane lanes will go hide in a corner. And what the fuck? <laughs> and Stefano is forgetting about them. These two little brainiacs will do a lot of damage to his drone line if he's being careful. The maga is going out for the hatchery now as well. Because of he didn't want to pick it off in the beginning. 
because there was no point in end. Whoa! Just keep finding missing some lanes there. And we see those two bane lanes coming in, getting a lot of free drone hits. And the income tab now shows 12 to 16 workers. With another hatchery for Stefano, which is not used at the moment. Well, now he's spending one larva. But he got free air as well. The Queen. Making a tumor, I don't think that's really necessary. I don't know. The mag is sending two banelings at the ramp because of you need two baneling hits to kill one baneling. And still pretty close, however the mag is slightly ahead, I think. And now it's taking out the hatchery, so the mag is a kind of great lead now. I'm watching the ramp with the Bane as well. You will probably see no roaches. Oh I'm losing some links here with the rally point up on to the ramp, so the Marga in a great positioning still. See some Banelings are coming out from Stefano, but this won't do as much as it could have done. I thought I heard something shooting there. The Marga is getting its expansion, expansion anyway, so it's pretty much GG now. And I think this is the kind of not so fun part with the Baneling Micro. However, it would be kind of equal now if he hadn't forgotten about these two Banelings, so... The Mag is <laughs> out walking with the Queen, only because I said it before that you are not going out with a Queen over the whole map. But the Mag is, so, and the Mag is the Grandma's player, and not so... I guess he has better game sense than I do. However, three banelings are coming out to go to the Maga's place to see that he's got an expansion. I don't think he's got yes, he had. Well, Overlord, of course. Banelings are going down for Stefano and this one little hero baneling one to him as much because he can't kill any drones with just one hit. Well, the mag is killing it anyway, so... The last stand for Stefano now. He's making another extractor, still no layer. And he's making the same units as... The mag is, so... Well, no, not anymore, because he got Roches, yay! So he's... Not ahead of tech, not ahead of units... Not ahead of drones either. Oh, we're getting six drones now. This is kind of risky, but you have to do something to when you're not ahead of anything, you have to go ahead of something and it shoots the drone part, so... Banes are taken out or being cancelled by Stano. The hatchery going down and didn't know if it was cancelled or it, it really doesn't matter. You see the supply. It's favoring the Maga like a whole lot. <laughs> and uh, some spines are going down for Stefano. But we're keeping alive for maybe some more minutes, not too long. The Maga is playing it pretty safe. Getting his plus one attack as well. And the Queen shooting at the Magus Overlord. I'm almost losing that beat. You may see four spines in the front of Stefano's base, but he's so way ahead of now. Six drones more for the Magus. And they shoot at Stefano's Overlord. The Unicount... I don't know how to go for it. Why? Units! We see one lane, the Maga. I'm not choosing to go anywhere. Yo go! Says Stefano. I don't know about that. Yo go indeed. 
Do my guess scouting for anything that could go off. Can watch his vision, vision and see that he will scout the spire. I don't know if he actually clicked on it, but uh, the animation for a spire is. Yeah, you see it. That is spire. And you don't want to build a spore crawler or a spine crawler here in just now. Drone scout is going out to Stefano with the queens and Demagas just macroing up, getting his spore crawlers to deal with the mutilisk. So I guess it's sort of another stand, and it was the spire that was going up. Plus one soon ready for um, Demaga and. The Mutilis want to do too much to Maga is getting another queen as well, so it will be have it will have four queens I think totally. Total but I just as well as going down, he could have gone for the infest this piece. Kind of better I think if the opponent got roaches. We see little sneaky, 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 sneaky expansion. Oh, it's a little cute larva. What is it? It's, I don't know really. Anyway, Stefano is trying to pick up some overlords. The Magus is smart enough to send everyone back and start to spread creep, and this creep will soon be merged together to a whole creep festival. And Stefano is just getting some map control for the time being. And uh, can secure his expansion with the income tab now. 30, 37. And th this actually probably won't do anything in this game because I believe the Maga will go kill him. Just waiting for those Hydras to finish. Maybe take out his rocks to if something herpy derpy like uh, Burrow the Bane links will occur, then he will. Probably remax or make another hatch or something. Baron's not ready for Stefano yet, so he might miss his chance to make the extra bane links to burrow them. Hydra's off creep is pretty much faster. Even I don't know how to see this engagement here. The Maga is getting his bone with this uh, bane link as well. And it's pretty much GG now. Because all oh, the mutas are dead, and the roaches are going down, and the income is favoring. Oh. Oh, I guess, strangely enough. Well, th that's a pretty solid CVC. Um, Stefano getting more drones at one time. Could have come back if uh, the hydras and uh, the roaches wouldn't have attacked. But they did so. GG. Just wanna look at if you got the hydra range. Did you get it? No, you didn't. Guess you don't need it. Hydra's got longer range than roaches anyway. Well, that was all for the time. So peace.